If I said the words human zoo, Otto Benga and Sarah Bartman are the likely names that come to mind. But did you know that Ghana has its own history to tell? This Miss B Wright's Hidden Histories podcast is part of the Academy Magazine issue on identity. In it, we speak to Belinda Kazim Kaminsky, a PhD candidate, art-based researcher and writer grounded in black feminist theory in Vienna, Austria. My name is Belinda Kazim Kaminsky. I am an artist and a writer based in Vienna, Austria. Currently, I work as a guest professor at the KHM, an art university in Cologne, Germany. And I'm uh, working towards my first solo exhibition, which will be in the Kunsthalle Vienna, uh, starting from October 2021. And that's the exhibition that you're going to tell us a little bit more about today, isn't it? Mm Mm-hmm. I know you've told me briefly that there's this amazing story, quite mysterious, about some men, women and children from Usu who ended up in Vienna. Can you tell us a bit more about this story and why it's interesting to you? Yeah, so um, basically I've been following this story since a long time. But I would say that especially in the last three years, while I was doing my PhD, I have been really working a lot on the story. But I first heard about the case in 2006, when I was a member of the research group on Black Austrian history and presence. And uh, via a book that I lent out from the library, and it's a book that is called Ashanti by an Austrian writer called Peter Altenberg. And it talks about a so-called human zoo, an exhibit of people um, that took place in Vienna in 1896, 1897. So the book was published in 1897. And the author writes about his interaction with the men, women, and children that were said to be Ashanti and he talks about his interaction his kind of friendship Uh, there's even rumors of like a kind of flirtatious relationships Uh, he also talks about the Viennese public how they interact uh, with these people from Ghana how they stare at them how they look at them how they just come there every day. So basically, this was a great spectacle. It was not an exception, as many of us know. I mean, human zoos were a thing that Europeans uh, like to have um, <laughs> in a sense of, for uh, yeah, all the, all the people that were considered as exotic, basically meaning people that came from outside Europe were placed in kind of exhibition arenas. Um, There were some housings built up, like traditional housing. (laughs) I say that in air quotes. And uh, then the public was invited to visit these exhibitions. So it sounds like this was 